eternal judgment and resurrection of the dead. Get a revelation of those. That's oil. It's going in your vessel. It'll cause your lamp to burn. Yes, it will. You got a revelation of baptism, yes, eternal judgment, laying on of hands, resurrection. That's oil in your vessel. And then the gifts and callings of God. That's oil in your vessel. The plan of God for the church. That's oil in your vessel. How is the church put together? How does the church operate? The church can only operate one way right. And that's in the Holy Ghost. Through the Holy Ghost. By an operation of the Holy Ghost. And every member. Every member. Letting the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Work through that. Yes, sir. Every member. Giving themselves <coughs> over to the Holy Ghost. Right now. Well, I'm speaking. Praise God. Every member in here. Every member. Let the Holy Ghost deal with you while I'm speaking. Because God wants to give you something every time a gift is standing on his feet. Thank you. Every time a gift is standing on his feet. Every time a man of God is ministering. Every time there's an operation of the Spirit. God wants to bless you. God wants to lead you, guide you. He wants to turn your gift on. You know why I'm standing here? I'm standing here to excite insight and disturb your gift. Yes, amen. I want your gift to rise up. Yes. I want to provoke you to love. Amen. I want to provoke the church to be alive. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. The gifts to function in it. I want the gift that's in you to work. You should want the gift in me to work. Praise because God. every gift feeds another gift. Yes, sir. We're called joints. Yes. Fourth chapter of Ephesians yes, calls a gift a joint. Yes. By every joint, that supplies, see this right here? That's supplying this right here. Without this supplying this, this couldn't operate, but this joint is supplying this. All right, joint, help this joint. Yeah. Because I need your joint to help my joint. This then helps this. And it's one body. It's one spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. So joint, get, get busy. And help the joint yes. by every joint yes. that supplies. Yes. And so when we enter into worship yes. with the revelation of the Word of God, then we want to let the joint start working yeah. and supply the next joint. And don't get bored with the joint. Don't get tired of the joint. Don't judge the joint. Don't let somebody feed you something on Facebook about the joint. Would to God that they turn Facebook off when... They're using it for a common gossip circle right now. I don't go there. I don't live there. I'm not part of it. Um, I want you to know right now, Facebook can tear up a church. Facebook, if the church could be torn up, it can, it can tear up people's lives. Amen. Because it's being used as a gossip call. And you say, well, Brother Marlowe, I don't do that. Well, you don't do it. Don't, don't, don't judge a joint. Don't, uh, let God put the joint. Let God fix the joint. Let God place the joint. And let the joint supply. Let the joint supply. Because he's coming back again. The bridegroom is coming back again. Well, no bridegroom ever went unless there was a bride. Is that right? right? The bridegroom is coming for a bride. And the bride is the church. And the church, part of it will be foolish, but they won't be lost. They're not lost. That foolish part just doesn't go in to the uh, catching away of the overcomers making up the first 144,000 that you see in Revelation, the 14th chapter. Come on around the throne of God. Now that in Revelation 14 is this, a, a part of that is the bride of Christ and around the bride will be the five wise virgins. The virgins, the five wise virgins in the church is not the bride. They accompany the bride. They're the accompaniment to the bride. The bride is the elite, the select, the elect of God in the church, the overcomers, 
and they will be accompanied by overcomers, but the bride is the first fruit. They're the 144,000. Praise the name of the Lord. But the wise virgins are going to share the same reward as the bride has, only that the bride will accompany Christ back to the earth in the open coming when he comes again. And the, the wise virgins will be around the throne of God singing hallelujah to the Lamb, hallelujah to God, praise the name of the Lord. Doesn't matter to me, I'll be very frank with you, if God selects me or you, you shouldn't mind, as the very elite, the very select, the very elect, call the bride, the bride marries the lamb, or you're a wise virgin, because you're going to be able to be caught up Praise in the moment, yes, the yes. twinkling of the eye, and the last trump. Praise our God. Praise God. My God, what a reward that will be. In one moment, I'm earthly. The next moment, I'm heavenly. In one moment, I'm dwelling in, a in an earthly body. And the next moment, I have a heavenly body. Praise the name of the Lord. No wonder Paul said in 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 51. You want to mark that down? Go to it later. No wonder Paul said in 1 Corinthians 15 and 51, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep or rest, but we shall all be changed. Who is that all there? The wise virgins has all in their vessel. The dead in Christ, already with Christ, yes. under the altar, under Christ, yes. they will not all sleep, but they will be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of the eye, at the last trump. Oh God, let me be in that number. I want to be in that number. Praise the name of the Lord. I love the I love the song. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? That's good to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. But it's even better to stay washed in the blood of the Lamb. Many people get washed, but they don't stay washed. They get their dirt, uh, their garments dirty. But I'm going to have my garments clean, washed in the blood of the Lamb when he comes back again. Praise the name. I thought I heard somebody say, praise the Lord. I heard someone say, praise the Lord then. Are your garments washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yes. Leave them washed in the blood of the Lamb. Because when he comes, he's coming at the midnight hour. Let me stay with Matthew 25. I'm going to let you take this home and digest it. I was going several other places in the scripture, but I don't want to go so many places you won't get what I'm saying. But in Matthew 25, five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps. Thy word is a lamp under my feet, a light under my pathway. So the word of God is the lamp. They took their lamps, the foolish did, but they took no revelation. They took no oil. They had no understanding. They had the word, but they didn't have the understanding. Lord, give me an understanding. Sister Ella, that's what you want, isn't it? That's what you want, isn't it? Sister May, that's what you want, is an understanding. Sister Shirley, that's what you want, is an understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. While the bridegroom tarried. Oh, do you know who that is? Right now. He's tarried. Why is he tarried? Well, because he's waiting for us to get ready. Isn't that gracious of our God? Isn't that mercy? He could come right now. But God isn't letting his son come. Because the number isn't ready. Someone said, I don't understand why Jesus is not coming. I do. Because it's not the day or the season for him to come. But he's coming. Yes, Just because he tarries, he's coming. Why stand you gazing? He's coming. coming. Praise the name of the Lord. God. He's coming again. He's coming again. Come on, church. Please. Come on, church. Don't lose your vision. Sister Sue, don't lose your vision of that. Brother Matthew, don't lose your vision of that. You go 
you people don't lose your vision of that. Just because he's Terry, why is he Terry? Because he has mercy. Because he loves you. If he came tonight, I have some things, you may not see them, but I see them. I know that I am not a perfect man standing here. Well, Brother Marlon, do you think you'll ever be? Yes. Yes. I intend to press toward the mark of the pride, of the high calling. Amen. Amen. I told you the other night, put, he died climbing on that tombstone. I intend to climb. Praise the name of the Lord. This one thing I do. One, forgetting those things. I feel like this revival came from God. And the people are coming into the church now. And God's renewing covenants. And God's renewing lives. And God's renewing hearts. And brother, it is not a foolish day for the people of God. It is the greatest day since Calvary. Praise the name of the Lord. Look what God is doing. Look stirred your heart. Look at the fan. Look at the flames. Look at how joyful. Look at how happy you've become in the last few weeks. I can't stay away from church right now. I've got to get back to the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I've got to tell others. I've got to get a hold of some others. Amen. I, I came in the bilingual service last night. I wanted to be in church so bad. I got up and sung a song. Praise God. Praise God. Couldn't sing in Spanish, but I did sing in English. Praise the name of the Lord. Doesn't matter to God. He, he, doesn't, he don't care if you sing in one or the other. He don't care if you sing in Dutch or whatever. But praise our God. Let me tell you something. This is the day the Lord hath made. I said, this is the day the Lord hath made. God gave us a revival for us to quote Paul in Philippians, the third chapter. Like Paul said, this one thing I do. We better be it. Brother Joel, go ahead. You young men, go ahead. Church, go ahead. Matthew, go ahead. This one thing I do, forgetting those things. Did you know this place would not hold the people if people would forget? Just forget. Just let it go. Just let it go. Don't argue about it. Don't fuss about it. Don't dispute about it. What happened yesterday? It is over, said, and done. I'm living today. And today is the day of salvation. Somebody give me praise. Midnight. Midnight. Everybody's saying at midnight. 
You feel like it's about midnight, folks? Morally, politically, the United States right now, men slugging it out on television, calling each other names, belittling one another, spending millions of dollars to rake each other, mud rake each other. We're about to sign a contract for a nation to build an atomic bomb over in Iran that will be used against Israel in the Battle of Armageddon. They're going to sign, uh, I think, the last senator they needed to pass the bill went on board today. And we're going to give them permission to build the bombs that will bomb Israel in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. That's how close it is. Oh God. Oh God. I'm glad tonight I'm resting. But I'm resting in wisdom and not foolishness. Praise the name of the Lord. And the scripture said, and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold the bridegroom cometh. Go you out to meet him. Oh, right, come on, overcomers. Come on, my virgins. Come on, you with your lamps full. Come on, you of the bride. Let's go out to meet one day, one day, one day, one day. It may be September. It may be October, but one day we're going out to meet him. Praise the name of oh, oh, I think I'll have a personal revival right now. Praise our God, praise our God. Because what a day that's going to be. When we go out to meet him. Yes, yes, yes. Go out to meet him. Thank you, Lord. And the but then all the virgins arose, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your all, for our lamps are gone out. What a sad moment that part of the church will experience. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell. So the, the foolish are not lost. They are going to them that sell. And there are people still selling the truth. And there are people still buying the truth at that time. Yes, sir. And they will go to them, continue their walk with God, repent of what they've done. Yes, sir. And in the, uh, God will take them through the tribulation, yes. the great tribulation, yes, sir. and they will be here to meet Christ when he comes back in the open coming. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Give us of your all for the lamps are going out. For the wise answered, saying, No, so that shall be not enough for us and you, but go you rather to them that sell. And you can't sell the truth if you don't have it. You can't sell all if you don't have it, or knowledge, and buy it for your sins. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom come, came, and they that were ready. Everyone say that with me. They that were ready. Thank you. God bless you. They that were ready. Well, I want to be in that number, don't you? I can't be in that number unless I say, Lord, lead me and guide me. And let me buy the truth and sell it not. And walk with you and wash my garments in the blood of the Lamb. In the purity of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I can't be in that number. But I can be in that number. Because today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Praise God. And they that were ready went with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open up. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. He didn't know them in the coming of Christ. He didn't recognize them so they could go in. But they will go to them that sell and buy. And they will come through the tribulation, that part of the church, and they will greet Christ when he comes again Praise in the open God. coming. Praise the Lord. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. God bless every one of you. Did you get something from the Word? Yes. If you get something from the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. All right. If you got something from the Word, 
You should let it stir you and stir you and stir you 